bourbon. So what's wrong with the uh, hand? What's that? No, no, I'm from Phoenix. What's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? I know what's wrong with it. I think it's evil, but what's wrong with... I actually don't care about your opinion, so thanks. Yeah. So that's how you guys do this? That was what y'all do. I just asked you a question. You don't I care about opinion. I didn't I offer you. I wasn't offering mine. I asked you yours. No, you're trying to impose your opinion. No, no. What's wrong with the, what's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? Tell us what's wrong with it. Well, I think taking Why out of the... I can, I can tell you. Go Would you like to listen? Uh, yes. Sure. Offer us your manly sure. opinion. Well, I think the Handmaid's Tale is wicked because taking somebody and doing something with their body that you don't have permission to do is evil, correct? <laughs> is it correct? The lack of self-awareness is wow. just... Wow. So, so laughing, but no response. That is a response. Your laughing is a response? So that's, that's what I believe is wrong with the Handmaid's Tale. Why do you think the Handmaid's Tale is wrong? awareness in this discussion. That's just a claim. You have no response. So what's wrong with no, the Handmaid's Tale? Our laughter is a response. It's and not, ma'am. It's, 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 it's just, it's it's just ignorance. So what's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? They can't even tell you what's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale. You guys are dressed as the Handmaid's Tale, and you can't say what's wrong with it. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? Use Google. So there's this Oklahoma guy that's being weird. No, no. You, you want me to ask Google what's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? No, Are you familiar that they rape the women? So what's wrong with rape? According to your worldview. Wow. Is, is it violating another person's body? If you need to ask that question, you are buff. No, no, I'm asking you to explain uh, what's wrong with rape, according to your worldview. He doesn't know. So is it wrong to violate another person's body? Yes, it is. It is also Thank you for that very pro-life argument. To take away. <laughs> Thank you for the pro-life argument. To take away choice from a woman. And what's That's that? what rape is. What about take the... Take away choice from a woman. What about the 500,000 little women every year that die? Are we talking about the book? No, no. The 500,000 little women who die every year in abortion. Do you... Oh, I am. Oh, actually, Do you believe... I am. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you believe if abortion is illegal that abortion will end? That's that's like asking, do you believe if sex trafficking is illegal, sex trafficking will end? Sure. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. You guys are good right there. Thank you, gentlemen. So so you're opposed to violating another person's body against their will? Okay. So there's your response. There's a typical pro-choice argument. They have no response. You can't respond to the argument, sir. No one has to debate it. Well, you know, ma'am, you can't debate it. No one has to You can't debate it. Why don't you defend your position? Because you are a grown ass man who will not fucking Google it. So, so your response to a critical question to your position is Google it? Yeah, educate yourself. Yeah. Google it. So, so the pro-choice position has as a fundamental basis of truth you are not Google. A child. Google. So let me ask you, what's 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 wrong with violating another person's body in the Handmaid's Tale? What's that? No, I'm asking you. You're here wearing you're here wearing the costume, ma'am. You're here wearing the costume. So I'm asking the women in the costumes. What's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? For the women in the costumes, you came dressed up. What's wrong with the Handmaid's Tale? You made the statement that you said that you think violating a person's body and using their body against their will is evil. Wrong. Is evil. You have no problem violating a woman's body or forcing her to eat the unwanted fetus. Sir, sir, you, sir. Every that's okay. sir, the that's okay. thank no, thank you for. I appreciate their interaction. I'm going to show respect to him. I really appreciate the interaction. My response to you is that this is the world we live in. Every human being is in the womb of their mother before they're actually born. You were too, sir. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the biology. So the, question, so the question is... Were you a heroin addict? Or what's that? Oh, I, I was meth, alcohol, marijuana, pills, you name it. And then Jesus, and then Jesus saved me from my sins. And then, and, then, and, then, and then Jesus saved me from my sins. What's that? Did your son get a 14-year-old What's that? Did your son get a 14-year-old No. 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 15? No, that's not, well, that's not true. My son is married and has I have two grandchildren now. So let me ask you a question. He's 20. My, my question to all of you is, is it immoral to violate a person's body against their will? Yes, it is. 
It is. So thank you for the pro-life argument. Because from the moment of conception, it's a human being. What's that? No, I'm for life, you're for death. I'm for the life of a woman, an actual human being, to make a choice for her own body. So so, so that, that's the same argument that plantation owners used. They said, this is my plantation, this is my property. Same argument they used then. Well, yeah, then it was black. Piece of land is the same thing as a woman. No, right? they were saying property. They said, it's my property. They said, it's my property. You're making the same argument as the plantation owners. They're saying, my plantation, my choice. It's not a false equivalence. Same argument. Same in principle. Same in principle. I'm not my anything. I can't get pregnant. I can't What's, have an abortion. Well, we're talking about women who can get but, pregnant. Yes, and women making their own choices for their own body. So, on what basis are you making that that argument? From what worldview? Are you an atheist? I'm a humanist. I am. So you're a humanist. Yes. So do you believe in, in evolution? Yes. Okay. So on what basis do you call anything wrong according to your worldview? Anything. If all of us are bags of protoplasm and a purposeless universe, why are you making any moral? I believe in human beings and human beings' right to have sanctity over their own body. Thank you. So thank you for the pro-life argument, because at the moment of conception, it's human. So join our side. So come on over. Yeah, right. Come on over. You just made the argument for the pro-life position. Yeah, and the sanctity of human life. Thank you. Sir, sir, you refuted yourself. As soon as a fetus is conceived, the, the body... Why are you speaking Latin? As soon as the, Why are you the speaking fetus Latin? Fetus means small child or refers to the offspring of a creature in reference to a human. So you can say baby. So you can say baby. Okay, so... The, the embryo has, has a, uh, human, is a human... And has Are you rights. talking about... Well, then the, the body that, that, that embryo is encased in no longer has any rights. The body the embryo is encased in? Yes. So are you talking about a human being from conception? That's what we're talking about. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. At what say, point? At what point is it okay to kill a human? Day, the body that it happens in has no, no right. You you said you're a humanist and you believe in his sanctity. I, I'm trying to. I, I'm I'm trying to. At the at the moment of conception, it's human. You said you're a humanist and believe in the sanctity of human life. So at what point can I kill a human being? At will, against their will. Uh, you're, you're asking the wrong person. We got all kinds of law enforcement here. We can tell you when it's. No, okay. so they'll tell you they're law enforcement. If you if you take the life of another human being unjustly, they'll put cuffs on you. That's right. That's right. So taking the life of a human being in the womb unjustly is murder. Fetus, an embryo, a fertilized Sir, egg. we're English. You can speak English. A Fetus embryo, means a baby. Egg. Okay. Thank you. So human, biologically from conception, you've lost the biological argument, sir. From Conception, it's human being. Regardless, do you still haven't addressed what I said? That is it because it's small? It's fertilized, then the woman that it, the egg is within has no rights anymore. No, no longer any control. So, can you can you say that again? I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand what you said. You said that you said the woman. You mean the little woman, the little woman in the womb? She doesn't have any rights. I'm talking about the woman that has that, that has the egg that got birth. that has the human. That has the egg that got birth. It's biologically, it's biologically human. As soon as that egg is fertilized, that woman no longer has any rights. No longer has any say over what happens to their body. Well, no, hold on. The body inside their body is not their body. So, you, so that's that's the biological difference. So, this is the this is the pro-choice movement. No answers, only yelling, only yelling. So, no. is is Roe is Roe law? Is Roe law? Can you guys have a coherent conversation? And there you go. So hope the hope the kids can see this. This is the this is the pro-choice position. You can't converse. We're talking. So let me ask you: Is Roe is Roe law? Is Roe law? I don't know what Roe stays. You don't know if Roe is law? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm asking you, you said Roe stays. I'm not talking about that. So is Roe law? I'm trying to decide their 
Okay. I'm sorry. They're, they're, they're disrespecting you right now. It rhymes. Not the state. Women will decide their fate. Which women? Which women? The women in the womb? Can women in the womb? The, the women in the womb? The little women? No answers. Only shouting. What about the little women? What about the little women? What's that? Where mine begins. What's that? Someone else has the right to use my body in a way I don't want them to use it, including an unborn fetus. Right, so why are you speaking Latin again? Say baby. Including a baby. Okay. So you you believe you should be able to murder a baby? I am not murdering anybody. But nobody has the right. To What's the definition of murder? In a way. What's the definition of murder? That's a good question. What is the definition of murder? Well, I'm asking you. I'm asking you said it's not murder, so you must know what it is. What's murder? I think it's, I think regardless, no one has the right to. You can't answer the question. What's murder? I don't have a definition or a dictionary. You said it's not murder, so. I don't have a legal definition. Okay, it's taking a human life in an unjust manner. Ask these officers; they'll tell you. Okay, so if I take a human being and I kill them in an unjustified manner, that's murder. But what is unjustified? Okay, an unjustified would be a mother taking the life of her unborn child. Okay, so what's in the womb from conception is human. Okay. So you're arguing that a woman should be able to take the life of a human being because it's inconvenient. Infringing upon her bodily autonomy. Yes. Okay. So because the second somebody tries to rape me, and I. Wait, 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 wait. You're not opposed to rape. I'm sorry. You're not opposed to rape. You believe that a human being can do what they want to another human being's body. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Go ahead. Go ahead. The second someone tries to rape me, I have the right to defend myself. Uh, why? 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 Take my bodily autonomy. What? So thank you for the pro-life argument. You just argued. That's a pro-life argument. You said that you said that a person can't do to your body what they want against your wishes. You said you have... You, let me ask you a question. Do all women have bodily autonomy? Yes. Thank you for that pro-life argument for the woman in your body. What about the rapist's no, bodily right. autonomy? Is that your argument? So your, your argument is full of shit. No, you are full of shit. No, no, that's your argument. You can't respond, ma'am. Ma'am, you can't respond. Ma'am, ma'am, ma listen. You're, you're, respectfully, respectfully, you're the one here with friends wearing costumes. So saying I do this for a living, I mean, it's not very good argument. You're here with people in costumes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Can you speak up? I'd like to hear you. I can't hear you. I have a YouTube where I ideologically masturbate. Yes. Is that is? Do you think that's effective rhetoric, rhetoric and polemics? Yeah, you do you have an actual argument rather than like some polemical? What's that? You just talked about ideological masturbation. How old are you, young woman? You're 17, and so and so you think this is an effective form of argumentation, talking about ideological masturbation? Do you have an actual argument that's coherent? That's, young lady, that's not an argument. Young lady, that's not an argument. Okay, so so I just I just responded to her position where she said she said that you shouldn't that women women should be able to be able to have bodily autonomy, correct? So is your, is your position fundamentally that women women should have bodily autonomy? How about the little woman in the womb? Fetus is Latin for baby. You can speak English. We're all English speaking here. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes. Is somebody yeah, for human development? It is dependent upon the blood of your body. Say it. Say it. Say it. It is dependent upon the blood of your body to live. And you choose not to get that. Should that be illegal? Okay. Can you can you repeat that so they? I, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear. Say that again. If someone is dependent upon the blood in your body to live, and you choose not to give that to them, should that be illegal? So so what you're arguing is if.
if a human being is dependent upon another human being, we should be able to kill him. I have a two-month-old baby right now. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm responding. I'm responding. So your argument is that if a human being is dependent upon another, we should be able to kill them. I have a two-month-old little boy right now who's so dependent upon his mother and me to live. Can I kill him? That child is not dependent on you. By he's logic. completely dependent upon us for his survival. For his survival, he's dependent. Your argument is human dependence means you can kill him. That's what you argued. He's fully dependent. You are purposefully misunderstanding. No, I'm telling you in principle what your argument is. You just argue that human dependence. No, you've been refuted. You've been refuted. Absolutely. Yes. All right. How you doing, sir? Do you have an answer yet for the challenge I gave to you? Yeah. A fetus in the timeline that you're Fetus is Latin for baby. We are English speakers. You can say baby. Go ahead, sir. Sorry, say what doesn't have sex characteristics? At the moment of conception, the DNA, biologically speaking, the DNA at the moment of conception has a determination whether it's male or female. So from the moment of conception, it is either male or female. You're, you're not, here's the thing, here's the thing. You're not arguing from a, I will give you a source. Read any biological textbook. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Read any biological textbook What's and they will tell you, and they will tell you. I think he meant by textbook. Basic me. biological textbook will tell you What's that at the, the mo textbook Would you like me to respond? Did you I'm so sorry. It? Absolutely. Here, here's what here's what I'd refer you to. Your friends were referring to Google. Just Google DNA, the moment of conception, biological sex. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. So, so this is the this is called ad hominem argumentation. In logic, in logic, it's a logical fallacy. So, her argument against the biological issues related to DNA and sex was that I'm not good at martial arts. That's it. That's what's called ad hominem. It's called ad hominem. Okay, so I would encourage you to look at DNA, biology, moment of conception, male or female. Okay. Anyway, I did. Okay, but it's not a fucking woman, idiot. You you did what? I literally, I know what I'm talking about. You did what? It's not a fucking woman, you dumb bitch. At, at, so, so your argument is... My argument is... Your argument is, to what I said about biology, was that I'm a fucking bitch. That's the pro-life, that's the pro-choice position. You got me, that's like the face of the pro-choice position. Fantastic, okay. So, did you have an argument, sir? To the challenge about rape? Well, you said, aren't you, you're the pro-rape guy, right? No, no, no. I think rape is an abomination, deserves the death penalty. That's what I think about rape. Oh, right, right. But you believe that if a, if a young girl is raped, that she should be forced to have... Yeah, I don't think we should give capital punishment to the children of criminals. No. But you do. But you, you believe in capital punishment for you children. You believe in killing the rapists. I believe that, let me ask you this. I believe that rapists deserve to die. Do you believe that? I believe what? That rapists deserve the death penalty? Uh, I, I don't believe in killing. Except children. You do believe in killing a child of the rapist. I do not believe in killing. Sir, you just argued. That, that would be, are you a Republican or a Democrat? I'm, I'm, no, neither. neither. So I, I, would, I would argue that my position is actually the consistent position because you believe that you should kill the child of a rapist. You don't believe the rapist deserve the death penalty, you believe you should kill the child. No, no. That's what you said. We have a different different definition of child. Okay, so what's your definition I mean, of child? How far back do we want to go? Do you, are you familiar with Connie Johnson's Every Sperm is Sacred Bill? Well, are sperm are not humans. Oh, they're not? Oh, no. Okay, well, we don't, you don't go back that Sir, do you understand how biology works? Because that when the sperm meets the egg, we have a human, not sperm? The, the sperm itself is Sir, helps create life. When yes, but, but humans... Do you go back that far? Humans are... You like to stop life. after you he, Sir, sir, basic biology will show you that sperm and an egg create human life. Sperm is not human life. He admitted that it was human life. What? Sperm and eggs. Yeah, so you do agree then that when a sperm meets the egg, it's human life. 
Do you believe that? No. You don't believe that. So you disagree with biology. <laughs> you just I said it. With you. you disagree with biological you just said science. That when a sperm and egg it creates life. You just said it. So, but you do believe that you should give capital punishment that's, to the children of rapists. Conception. Conception and a viable child is not the same thing. So when you say viability, you believe that you should make the determination of whether someone is alive or okay. a person? Before we call fetus out of the womb. Why are you speaking Latin? Survive. Sir, my two-month-old can't survive without me. Right? Also, if a human being is on life support, they can't survive on their own, correct? So in principle, you believe you should kill them. What's that? You're one of the organizers of this thing. An organizer of this? All of these people actually follow what you say because you're an idiot. That's all you got. There you go. Notice that we didn't insult you like that along with everybody else. God bless you, sir.